Hey everyone, Ricky here from Ricky's Tech Talk. Let's unbox and share the key details of the brand new Honor 70, as well as sharing my personal thoughts as we go through. So let's begin with the unboxing process and see what you get inside. So first of all, you have your device and it's always front and center so you get to see it straight away. I'm really lucky here. I've got the emerald green color, which is really nice in all different lights get a satisfying peel there. As you may have noticed on the back, it has a slightly different layout to its camera systems, which we'll go through a little bit later on. Also in the box, you'll find a clear case to use with your device for a level of protection. You're gonna get a USB-A to USB-C cable. And then one of the big options here is a 66 watt on a supercharge plug that allows you to charge your device really quickly. And that is a USB-A to USB-C connection. Setting up your Honor device is very simple and very easy, thanks to it running Android. So it has a skin over the top, which is Magic UI 6.1, which is based off Android 12. With Android, you do get a full suite of accessibility settings and options you can change during setup process to make it easy to use your device. However, I will be going through all the accessibility settings and options you can change in a future video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and also check out the video description because I will add a link in once this video is created. So now with our device set up, let's go through the key features as I share my personal thoughts with my time with the Honor 70. So let's begin with the display and what we're looking at all the time. So it's very immersive and it draws you in and that's thanks to having over a billion colors. I will say that it's very bright, it's very vibrant inside and outside. And I've really enjoyed using this at all different parts of the day. And also when I've been traveling as well, I found it really easy to see in peak sunlight or in the darkest of nights now as it's changing. So this is a 6.67 inch full view curved OLED display with an FHD plus resolution of 2040 by 1080. That'll give you a pixel density of 395 pixels per inch and an aspect ratio of 20 by nine, which is great for watching content. It also offers HDR 10 plus and it has a DCI P3 100% wide color gamut. And you really notice this when you're taking great shots. I took it to the NFL with me. I've taken it all over traveling through London, traveling through the countryside and the images have been great. And I've shared some of those through my social media accounts and I'll show you some of these during my video here. However, if there is any question, just leave a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help. Also built into the center of your display is your front camera. So it's a 32 megapixel super clear selfie camera with an f2.4 aperture, has beauty AI effects, HDR selfie portraits. Just wanna say here, it didn't do great in the dark shadow areas. So when I was out and about, it seemed to struggle to try and capture enough light to really light up my selfies. But this is their mid-range device though. So when you look at the 70 Pro, that would have a better option. 1080p front facing video recording, it's okay. I prefer 4K now, I get 4K out of most devices. AIS, electronic image stabilization was okay, but it did shake a little bit when I was trying to move quite quickly, moving around or on a video call, I noticed it stuttered a little bit as well. It's a bit jumpy. That could have been connection issues, but I just wanna highlight what I've had during my review. So on the flip side, this is where it really changes. So coming around to the rear camera, it's a quantum leap in photo quality, as Honor says. And I would say I've noticed a real difference here. So Honor 70 debuts the new Sony IMX800 image sensor, and that is used for its main sensor. So it's a 54 megapixel Sony IMX800, which has a sensor size of 1.49 inches, and it's an f1.9 aperture, which means it captures loads of light, and it really does help in those dark scenes. As I mentioned, on the front camera that didn't work so well but on the rear camera really managed to capture everything that I wanted to see no matter time or day. Then your second lens is a 50 megapixel ultra wide and macro lens combined with an aperture of f2.2. So you have 122 degrees ultra wide view which means you will get everyone and everything in your shot. So I went to the NFL here in the UK and I could capture the whole stadium. Zooming in, it's pinpoint accuracy as well, so you can really see detail up to a certain point. And with a large display as well, you get to see everything. And that's the main thing for me. I don't always get to see what I am seeing until I see it on a photograph and I'm able to zoom in. That's just because of my level of sight. So with the ultra wide lens, it is paired with a macro lens that can, it's like a two in one option. So you get to actually really zoom in and see everything you want up 
until about 2.5 centimeters away so auto focus super macro and that's a great feature and i showed an image there of some threads or a band that i put around my leg and you can actually see how zoomed in it is it's a great option so you have auto tracking intelligent memory and double excellence mode with this device so you can use both camera options when you're recording video if you want to so you can see two different angles when you're recording you can record yourself as well or you can record someone moving so it has auto tracking or intelligent memory when that person comes in and out of shot it'll start to track them again I've tried to share some images around this and it's really great option worked easy for me a little bit of a time spending to understand how it works can be a little bit fiddly from a visually impaired person's point of view to understand how to precisely press the right button to track when you need to track someone but i've enjoyed using this option would i use it every day no it's a bit like cinematic display option from the iphone but it's nice to have that option on here. And then finally, you have a two megapixel depth camera with an aperture of f2.4. So this will get your depth effect and your portraits for you. Video recording is at 4K at 30 frames per second. So not 60 frames that you'll see on the Pro model, but 4K at 30 frames per second with EIS, electronic image stabilization, and 10 times digital zoom. So there is a good amount of options on there to really go out and capture the world. Whatever you want to take photos, videos of and especially coming up to the holiday season or Christmas here in the UK I'm going to call it you can go and just capture the moments but remember sometimes it's always good to put your phone down and enjoy what's happening as well a device that has all of these features is also nice to have a device that is aesthetically pleasing and I want to say with a dual curved design which is stylish and beautiful to fit your hand it looks really nice as well so if you actually take the time to look at your device outside of a case it really has a natural arc and a dual curve on both directions front and back it's 7.9 millimeters thick and it only weighs 178 grams and that's without a case but it has a really nice subtle design that sort of naturally just curves and with what honors planning in the future with a folding device I'm looking forward to seeing how they approach that so just shifting and coming around from them curves to performance so this has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 778 G plus 8 core CPU with varying speeds as I mentioned it is using magic UI 6.1 which is based off Android 12 so as well as your CPU you have a GPU so with this device you've got an Adranu 6 642L and this will allow you to crush your enemies with high performance high frame rates and low power consumption while powering up the highest rated games and I've really enjoyed gaming with this device I showed a little bit of Asphalt 9 I really enjoyed that one it's been good with Angry Birds I've played a little bit of Pokemon Pokemon always sort of just ruins your battery but it seems to last a little while so it's a gpu turbo x on this device and it's really nice to have that option there so linking both power and performance so with all of these specs what do you get battery wise so battery is a 4800 milliamp hour battery 66 watt on a supercharge as i mentioned 20 minutes will get you 60 percent charged i would say about 55 to 57 percent charged with the test that i've had it does offer five percent reverse wired charging which is different so if you do need to plug in another device or if you do need to plug in say any accessories like headphones you can do so it's a 5g model and i've had a good experience with 5g i've tested it on multiple different networks so o2 ee vodafone wherever I've gone across the country and international I've had a good experience signal achieved high speeds and it's been good for me but that all depends if you live in a 5g area of course it's a dual sim model so that allows you to have one for data allows you to have a sim card for roaming throughout europe or around the world also i just want to highlight it's using bluetooth 5.2 so that allows for easy connectability with accessories and no problems at all with me connecting up to multiple accessories with my device so you have three different color options to choose from you have crystal silver emerald green and midnight black so i have the emerald green option and i really like this because it subtly shifts in the sunlight or in light it subtly shifts from a lighter to a darker option how you hold your device really and it's really nice option to have people have asked me what it is they've sort of always said what is that color and i think with honor and definitely huawei they had great color palettes with their devices the colors were just fantastic yes we put them in a case but i think that's why they provide you with a 
clear case or I always recommend getting a clear case with your device because you want to show off those colors I think breathing crystal was a fantastic color as well back in the day so coming around to price and availability the honor 70 is available now from high honor which is the website here in the UK and that you can go and check out honor for yourself wherever you live and at the moment there are special offers and deals available of course time of recording this video we're coming up to the end of November which means Black Friday will be around the corner and that means even better deals will be available so make sure to go and check out the links in the video description so for the 8 gigabyte 128 gigabyte version so that's 8 gigabytes of RAM 128 gigabytes of storage it will cost you 449 pounds here in the UK 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage which is the option I have that will cost you 479 and that's the model I'm currently using here in time of filming Black Friday deals are already coming up so make sure to go and check them out me personally on a side note i've actually really enjoyed using these devices i've shifted now more to android than whatever i have done with ios i still have ios devices and android devices with me at all times because i'm testing multiple devices but I just feel the Android option is so much, it varies so much. So you can get a better level of performance sometimes. You can get better level of battery performance. And also when it comes to cameras as well, they offer so much more. Yes, the iPhone takes the options there too. But I think with these cameras, you get a little bit of extra effects. You get more different options to change, especially like with the intelligent memory option and also the tracking option available from this. I've really enjoyed my experience with the Honor. And I've looked at many Honor devices and there has always been an improvement throughout the years. I would like to take the time to look at the Honor 70 Pro if that becomes available or even as I mentioned the new Honor Magic folding device that's coming out as well. Let me know what you think, it's always great to hear from you. As I mentioned I will be making an accessibility video on the Honor 70 asking the question is it accessible? So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Please give this video a like if you've enjoyed what you've seen today and if you haven't let me know down below what can I improve? It's always great to hear from you. For me Ricky thanks for watching and make sure to have a great day. Bye for now.